Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to talk about a pair of short wing Oxfords, uh, Allen Edmonds, made of Horween Dublin leather with contrast stitching and a contrast sole. This is the Allen Edmonds McTavish. Now, when you look at different shoes from Allen Edmonds, you're going to see that most shoes are on the 65 last. Uh, which is the same as your Park Avenue, your Strand, this is a Lexington, and this is the uh, um, McTavish, which is the 201 last, which is the same as the Independence Collection. Now, you'll see, just in looking at it like this, the instep on these is quite a bit higher. So this is a Derby, and this is an Oxford, and it's still higher. Uh, so if you have a high instep, this last can be a great fit for you. If you have a low instep, this, you have to size down, you have to try to change the width, you have to try to do all kinds of machinations to get these shoes to fit you. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. Uh, when I um, wore these, I was a solid 11 and a half E, um, and they worked just fine. Uh, they, these have a monstrous double butyl sole. Um, and, uh, you know, I probably bought these in 2004, 2003. Um, and uh, I got a be completely candid, this sole is still flipping good. <laughs> I wear these things all the time. Uh, Butyl just wears like a brick, but it feels like butter. <laughs> so really nice shoes, um, really well put together. Contrast stitching is beautiful. Um, the waxed Dublin leather is great for casual. Um, I actually polished them and, uh, you know, created a, a, a high shine on them for a while, and then I took the, sh the polish off redid the, um, the contrast stitching, um, just cleaned it up, and uh, you know they came out just good as new. And all I had to do was just use a little saddle soap and a little elbow grease, and it just came out just fine. Um, I really like them. I, I feel like the, uh, the lining on these is um, probably some of the highest quality lining of any of the Allen Edmonds that I have. And um, just, a, just a great, great shoe. Um, the leather, the Dublin leather is thick, and you know, the easiest place to tell that is on the tongue, because uh, several years ago we started having a little bit of overlap on the tongue, uh, on where the, the leather comes off, and you can really tell just how thick the leather on these things is, um, and how thin the lining is. Um, but really, really solid shoe, great stitch pattern, great sole work. Uh, when I first got them, there was a problem with the, uh, like a gap in the sole around here. And I sent them back to Allen Edmonds, the factory fixed it for free. It took a week, which was a pain in the neck, but you know what? Uh, best thing I ever did, because I've never had to send them in for recrafting. Uh, they're just really, really solid shoe. Uh, and they're pretty. I like the way they look. Um, I did not have a McAllister for a long time. I had McAllisters when I first uh, started wearing Allen Edmonds back in 95. And um, then um, probably in 2001, um, I got through the third recraft and they were uh, toast. So I needed to uh, move on and uh, I waited on the wingtip until 2003, 2004. So this was uh, what I replaced it with. I wanted something a little bit more casual. So anyway, uh, just a great shoe, uh, really uh, exciting. I'm glad that I sold them from my son's closet. Excuse me, I borrowed them from my son's closet and I will return them. But uh, hope you guys find this interesting. Uh, the M McTavish, uh, just a, a solid shoe. Now, some other things to, to note about this. Uh, as you look at some of these other styles, um, they really don't do any fudging. They, they really kind of keep it plain. Now, these are rubber soles. Um, even my leather sole monks, um, just really, really plain. On these, they really went all out. They've got some fudging here on the uh, thing. There is a little bit of a welt issue where the welt looks like it's coming apart on the storm there. Um, it's not really doing any damage, but it, it is a little unsightly. So if I was keeping them, that might be something to change, but I gave them to my son, so it's up to him. I don't think he'll do anything with it. Uh, but they've got this really nice fudging going all the way around. Um, and it, it, you know, they did a nice job with it. it it's actually hiding the stitches. And, um, you know, everything about the shoe just, is a little bit classy and not uh, not not too shabby. Um, even the heel cap that they do here, they've just got a really really shallow seam on there to try to keep it uh, keep it rounded. So 
they did a nice job. This is, um, as Alan Edmonds um, construction, I think this is a pretty good example of good solid construction. Uh, now, if you look at the stitch density on the sole, um, you can tell that it's one of the older models because um, it's, it's quite a bit uh, more uh, dense than it is today. Uh, but it's not, it's not like a Crocket and Jones today either. But it's, um, it's, it's a good shoe. Um, as I said, I mean, it's 14 years old and uh, it does not need to be resold and uh, I wore the heck out of these. So, great shoes, um, really happy with them. They ran about $295, as I recall. Uh, they were, um, uh, and, and I've seen them on sale now on eBay. You can get a pair of this range of uh, McTavish for 50 bucks, um, but that's probably with a sole that needs to be replaced. Uh, so if you pick up a pair like this, it's probably worth maybe 80 bucks. Uh, but it's, um, I, I would say, you know, if you're, if you're in that market and you like used shoes, uh, this is one to uh, give a try, especially if you have these butyl leather soles. Uh, the McTavish that they have now have these uh, rubber soles, which um, kind of similar to the Normandy, or the uh, or I have a pair of Canes, uh, which I'm not a fan of. So, um, you know, you just got to look at them, see what you like. Uh, if you're looking for something that's close to vintage, uh, it can be a uh, fun time. So, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Thank you for watching. I am out.